Hey everyone, this is Raga and welcome back to my channel. First of all, excuse the look. I am currently wearing my scrubs and I'm wearing my glasses as you can see, which you probably haven't seen me so far in. But that's because I'm post-call. I just finished a 24-hour call and I am so tired. I barely got to sleep. The call was super busy. We had... 14 referrals, but the patients were so sick and they were you know I was very busy with them the whole night and yeah, I didn't get any rest and um, I was supposed to uh, film this video for you guys today and when I came back I thought Man, I'm so tired. Should I postpone this video? But then I thought to myself no Raga, you have to film this video because this is what you've promised your subscribers and this is what they want to see and therefore because I love you guys so much I'm making this video for you guys even though I'm dead tired so uh, I've recently been very busy with uh, my probation exam and uh, studying for that and now I'm preparing for another course that I have to uh, take in the coming week and I've been on call as well which has been making my life super busy and for that reason I've not been able to keep up with um, I'm making videos for you guys and I apologize for that however here I am now and I'm going to do a video that you guys have been requesting which is how do you prepare for the MSTREX or the residency qualifying exam in Dubai and Abu Dhabi now uh, if you haven't already watched the video about applying to uh, Dubai residency and Abu Dhabi residency I'll put the video link up here so that you guys can uh, probably first watch that video before you watch this video so it makes more sense to you um, so for those of you who have already watched that video and who are currently preparing for these exams, I know there are a few exams that are already passed and I think maybe there are two exams or one exam left and I'm sorry that the timing of this video was a little late but life happened guys and I hope you understand that um, things get busy especially when you're a new resident you you have to do your best you have to prove uh, to many people how efficient you are and how good you are and that's the reason um, I have not been able to keep up with uh, the videos anyway that's enough talking now I'll come to the topic now when it comes to how to prepare for the MSTREX exam it's pretty simple rule it depends on what you want to study or how you want to study I will divide the studying into two parts the first part is to build your basic knowledge and the second part is to focus on how you can answer most of the questions right in the exam now for the MSTREX exam I would suggest to anyone to devote about uh, two months of hardcore studying for the exam it's fine if you have to work or if you're an intern and you have to work and study at the same time that's fine that's what I did and I was perfectly fine I was able to uh, manage both of it but um, at least give it two months I know many people will say they studied in a one month or they studied in two weeks but you don't want to take a risk if you really want this you need to put in the time and the effort to get the good results now i'm not an expert in uh, these exams or i'm not saying that my studying technique is the best of course not but since you guys asked me for my opinion here it is the resources that i use is firstly i read the first aid for the step 2 ck and the first aid gave me a lot of basic um, foundation for preparation for this exam obviously you guys will be thinking oh that's a huge book how am i supposed to finish the book and uh, finish studying for the exam with that book but the, the point of the book is not to memorize the entire book but it's more like uh, solidifying your foundation or to solidify your base in your knowledge your general knowledge in all specialties should be pretty good for in order to do well in this exam Another resource that I use for helping me solidify my information is a resource that I've mentioned even in my USMLE preparation videos, which is something that I uh, wish I had known before. I found out about this resource too late. Uh, by that time, I was done with all of my steps, uh, but I could definitely use it for the preparation for these exams. That is the Lecturio videos. Now, these videos are amazing in order to solidify your information. Now, the way I used Lecturio was uh, when I was reading the first aid and I felt like a certain topic was not that well understood for me or I'm very weak in a certain topic I would go to my lecturio subscription and I would look up the videos about that topic and just watch those and take notes and when I was done watching those videos I used to feel like that topic was completely solidified for me and was completely clear to me and the great thing about lecturio is that they have even their own question banks which you can solve so you can test your own knowledge on those specific topics so if you feel like a certain 
certain topic is very difficult for you, you can solve that part of that question bank that Lecturio has to offer. Um, if any of you are curious about um, Lecturio and would like to have a subscription of Lecturio, I will leave a link in the description box below. If you use that link, you'll be able to get a 25% discount on your subscription. So go ahead and try um, using that and please let me know what you think about it because I think it's fantastic. Now that's it with the resources that help you build your knowledge. Now coming to the resources that you need in order to answer most questions right in the exam. Because let me be honest, this exam is pretty strict and it's so difficult to get a really high score and every year the performance is improving and the highest grade is improving and for that reason you need to perform your best for this exam so that you uh, don't take a risk when it comes to whether they want to select you for the interview or not. So my uh, honest opinion is study super hard for the exam and go in with the big guns and crush the exam. So when it comes to solving the questions right, um, now obviously you need a sort of a question bank or practice questions that uh, will help you uh, answer most of the questions right. So the first resource that is amazing for helping you solve questions in the best possible way is the pre-test uh, for the USMLE preparation. I know these books are built for the USMLEs, but that I found so useful when I was preparing for this exam, the MSTREX. Um, obviously, there are several books for different uh, specialties. You have a pretest for surgery, a pretest for medicine, pretest for pediatrics, etc. Et but I know it might seem extensive, but honestly, solving as many questions as you can of these books will really improve your knowledge and also improve your um, ability to solve questions in a timely manner and be able to tackle all kinds of questions during the exam without wasting too much time reading and understanding the question. And my last resource or my tip is that if you personally know someone who has taken the MSTREX exam or you have a friend who knows someone who has taken the MSTREX exam, it is very important for you to get in touch with them, uh, either email them or message them and ask them if they can recall um, any of the questions or any of the topics that were very strongly stressed upon in the exam. That is very important because they can probably shed some light on what topics are stressed upon the most and um, maybe be able to even sit down with you in person and explain to you what topics were tested on the most and uh, examples of certain questions that were asked in the exam etc. You can also go to the uh, Dubai Residency Training Program website and there they also have about 20 questions I believe which are sample questions which are also very helpful. I would say you should definitely go through that um, before you go for your exam because it's something similar to the US Emily exams where they have, uh, I think, 10 or 15 practice exams on their website. And sometimes those questions are very similar to what comes in the exam. And sometimes you feel a question is exactly copy pasted from that onto your exam, both in the US Emily and in the MSTREX exam. So I would definitely suggest that right before your exam, try to solve those 20 sample questions and uh, it already has its answer key with it so uh, you don't have to worry to know whether the answer is right or wrong because they've already answered it for you so guys even though this video came out late i hope this has really benefited you guys in a great way and i hope i've been able to guide you guys and shed some light about the mstrex exam and about its preparation so if you guys have any questions about the mstrex exam or anything related to um, the interviews i will make a separate video about how my interview experience was and I'll give you even some examples but for now if you have any questions regarding this entire process including this exam please leave a comment down in the comments bar below and I will definitely get back to you guys and as I had mentioned in my previous video I am working also on a Q&A video you guys have sent me so many wonderful questions on my Instagram I will definitely um, be making that video soon uh, I was supposed to post that video next but since you guys were highly requesting this video that's the reason I posted this video just for you guys a lot of great informative videos are coming up so don't forget to press that red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of those videos and for all those of you who are taking the mstrex exam very soon all the very best you will do amazing just don't stress it and work absolutely hard towards your goal and i am so sure that you guys will all achieve your desired grade and now i'm gonna go hit the sheets because i'm absolutely exhausted and until i see you guys in my next video bye